Hey guys, this is Kids, and I'm back with another episode of Know Your Streamer. And today I have with me Saloni, as known as Meow 16K. So, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, Kids. And uh, my name is Saloni, and I go by the name Meow 16K. Ever since I got into competitive esports and stuff, um, I mainly play FPS games and I enjoy it a lot. Ever since I got to know that esports uh, has a, like a lot of competitive, uh, you know, uh, that. Uh, that competitive, um, what do you call it, blood going on, uh, going through it, and uh, it's it, it has been an amazing journey ever since I have come across all these games and people. In fact, um, so I remember I was in school, um, and uh, my brother used to play uh, Counter Strike 1.6, and he uh, he was like. Um, you know why didn't you try this game? And I, I was like, no, I'm not interested. I don't like this bloodshed and all. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I would. I'm okay with my Barbie game. So yeah, I do agree that I used to be a part of those Barbie games and stuff. But then um, one fine day, I thought, what is so much fun in you know killing people and stuff? Let's explore. And at that point of my uh, life, it was so competitive. I don't know. I have seen this one person who, uh, you know. Likes to prove myself, like you know, if if you say you cannot do this, no, that this is not your cup of tea, then I will be right there, sitting and doing it right in front of you. So this is this kind of uh, you know competitive feeling got me so much into gaming that till now I'm not able to like you know get out of it. <laughs> That's amazing. So can you just tell us about your journey so far in your esports scene and when you came? Yeah. So um. It was like 2016, I guess, uh, when one of my friends asked me. Uh, he was a CS:GO friend of mine. He asked me, "Why don't you start streaming?" And at that time, uh, only a couple of streamers uh, existed. Like, you know, yeah. I think it was only Venom, Jags, and Jags used to be so good yeah. that time. And uh, there was uh, Raka and all these few streamers. And um, at that time, he asked me, "Why don't you start streaming?" And I didn't know what streaming was actually, and I was like, "Okay, let's try." Oh, I didn't even know that you need a good specification, or I didn't know anything. I just, I just wanted to try something. And then uh, when I delivered my first stream, it was so good, and like you know, immense response came over, and uh, I was happy to do that. And ever since then, I've been addicted to streaming. So even if I take a day or two uh, days off streaming. It's always like you know, no, I, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. So it's I do uh, just because I've started it. I'm just doing it for the sake of it. But it, it has been into me now, and you know, it it doesn't just you know resist the fact that no, I'm not streaming. So like even uh, in the beginning, I remember my parents used to be so worried about me because I used to be completely into gaming. I used to play for six, seven hours, and they used to be like. Why are you acting like your brother? They were so worried that, like, legit, they were so worried. They they thought I was like, you know, being that manly person, <laughs> like, you know, ch- changing my interests and stuff. I was like, no, I'm I'm just fine. I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. And there was this uh, point where they, uh, when I sat with them and I explained them how streaming or how esports uh, is and what, like, you know, uh, what it can provide or what it provides me. Uh, so all these things, when they got to know, when they explored this gaming side of uh, esports, uh, they automatically got into it, and now they are worried. Why I'm not streaming? Why? Uh, why have you taken these two days break and stuff? So they are equally participating in me now. So it it went through the journey as as much as uh, you know they got to know about the entire uh, story. Uh, behind esports and gaming, they started uh, supporting alongside. That's amazing! It's amazing when your parents support you in gaming. <laughs> so I'm pretty yeah. sure, like uh, you have a lot of fans, you have a lot of people supporting you. But throughout your journey in esports and streaming, I'm pretty sure you faced a lot of difficulties and you've got a lot of hate. So can you just yeah tell us about what difficulties you face being a streamer and esports athlete in India? Uh. I remember I was just 18, and uh, there was this huge controversy over me, uh, and constantly they were every. The, there was this one entire week I was all I was seeing was memes about me, different different memes. It was vulgar, funny, and you know, I was just 18, and you know the fact that when like you know a group of people start pressurizing you and bullying you, you cannot count on anyone except for your parents and. I had friends, but 
they couldn't do anything because there were so many of them H- how can couple of my friends counter them and i was just left alone somewhere uh and at that point of my uh you know that phase my mom was the biggest support she you know um she told me this one thing uh when a prideful ele- elephant walks by there are three dogs who keep keep barking at him but he doesn't even look at them because he knows his strength and their strength they cannot do anything so this uh you know this phase of my mother it really had a great impact on me so ever since then whenever something like this comes up i'm like okay let's do it i i just it doesn't bother me anymore at that time it did bother and there was this point when i thought like no this is not you know somewhere i can belong to this is not these people are not so good but then i also explored this side ki agar bure bhi bane the bure log hai to acche log bhi hai so i started focusing on those good people and now this people who want to like you know sabotage you and your mindset and your intentions they don't affect at all because now i know that what i want and what i want to do they they can they cannot be any obstacle now and there are a lot so, of people who yeah. support you so like, yeah so also like i remember like a year back or two years back i also have a friend so someone in a facebook random facebook group only they like, like commented on her post that oh my god you are a girl you play fps games you shouldn't, <laughs> like, you, shouldn't you you are not supposed to like fps games yeah, go, so go know, back like, to yeah. kitchen <laughs> like, like you are not supposed to like fps games why are you playing F- fps games so have you faced something similar in your life also Yeah there have been so many times i tell you in like you know even in matchmaking so this figure mia sakseen ke has become like it's a, i won't say it's very famous but people actually recognize yeah. okay so mia sakseen ke is a girl mm-hmm. so whenever some like you know a completely random person comes to know that oh this is a girl in the middle of the game they're like hey bro are you impersonating or like are you using voice changer why are you playing games why don't you like you know just Back to kitchen, make sandwiches, or you know, do something that suits your personality. I'm like, how I, how are you uh, judging my personality? <laughs> Why can't I like? This is sad, but I'm. I think it's really, like changing slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, like, it's much it, better I, now. I have been observing so much that there are so many girls coming into gaming. अभी तो बहुत ज़्यादा है, to be very honest. Yeah. There are so many. There are big. There is a big number now, but I think. a year ago or two years ago i think there were not much female players in india or in india i, I will focus on india abhi in recent one year i think there have been a lot yeah, and it's actually good and the, this uh, like this mentality of gamers is also changing that girls can't yeah. play games but that also i think is a reason why like girls were not into gaming because they know they would get this hate So this thing yeah. is also changing. I'm pretty sure. So, so let's hope for the best, and I hope it like yes. goes away to completely. Yeah, very yeah. soon. <laughs> so, uh, can you just tell us what you're like currently doing, like in your esports? Okay, what you're doing currently? Which team um, are you playing for? And... Yeah. So, um, as I told you, I always wanted to be a competitive player, but then there was like I didn't know the perfect way through it, and I never knew that if I would. If I was worth participating in these big uh, in these big tournaments and stuff, uh, so uh, I I always started learning, but I never knew if this was the point where I can if I'm ready to do that. But in 2019, when uh, this Legion of Valkyries um, tournament registration came up, it was an all female tournament, and um, I thought let's give it a try. Why not? And I made a team. uh where like you know there were a couple of indians and one uh, i think yeah one outsider um we participated in that we qualified for the lan and uh, to be very honest the online qualifier not so you know tough but we did expect a lot in the like you know um, competition outside india and stuff and uh, when we went to thailand for that lan event we actually thought we we are like you know we're going to get a lot of experience we may we might not do, we were actually to be very honest we were not prepared at all we thought we'll be losing in first round we have two another days we'll go shop and come uh, we'll just explore more of thailand and you know we had our plan but then when first uh, like you know the first day of our lan we won the match it was bo3 and we won 2-0 i was like you know it was like completely changed the perspective of you know how things can go in future that first day it felt so amazing i tell you kids because you know 
if for, for the first time it was feeling like we are doing something for india and not for us like not for me not for the team but for india and um, the flag that was there before our name and the victory board it was all so motivating and uh, the second day uh, we uh, i think yeah it was a match up against team thailand and we lost 2-0 against them and it was pretty close match so we had this one uh, you know feeling ki abhi to practice bhi nahi kiya tha aur hum log yahan tak aaye aur practice karne lag gaye on regular basis where would we be so um, at at that point i convinced my teammates we will do better we'll stick together we'll make some changes we'll make some improvements but we'll stick along and we will take this to another level maybe this this time we came second next time we'll it was come a first. csgo right Yeah, it was a serious go event, and uh, yeah, that that actually boosted a lot. And then immediately after that event, we qualified for WSG, which was going to be held in China um, in like you know early 2020s. I think January me tha, and immediately in January this corona outbreak yeah. and all this this happened. That that trip couldn't be successful yeah. enough. But I think uh, they are still going to host it. There is no cancellation confirmation. So maybe we might even uh, go to China and still represent India in WSG. But uh, that is not confirmed. But then that 2019 वाला जो land था Thailand, that was like a complete, you know. Okay, that was a ultimate game. हाँ भाई, अभी तो करना है हाँ. करना ही है. अभी तो there is no option. If, so are you playing after coming now or Valorant? Uh, I have actually started exploring exploring Valorant. I haven't completely, uh, you know, quit CS:GO. I am playing it, but then, uh, see, Valorant is a new game, and you know, uh, it's it would be nice if I be on the track, like you know, with people mm-hmm. uh, along. If we are on the same page, pe rahe, so it won't be difficult when you know, if, if ever if if I ever switch to Valorant, mm-hmm. that won't be uh, okay. tough. Yeah. Yeah. Take a rapid fire questions. You just I give your answer. No explanations, nothing. You just answer yes okay. or no. Or okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what's your favorite PC game? I like Valorant right now. Okay. So if you have to choose between CS:GO and Valorant, what do you choose? CS:GO. <laughs> <laughs> It's so confusing. What's your greatest achievement in life? Um, greatest achievement. I think um, uh. uh Pulling myself over all the hate and all the negativity. Uh, what's your favorite Valorant agent? Oh, I like um, I like Chet. Nice. Get to invite me. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite Indian streamer? Like T Bone. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> no second thought. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so if you are not streaming and in esports, what uh, then what? If I wouldn't be a streamer or a streamer or esports uh, athlete, yeah, then what? Okay, I would have been a singer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Nice. How old were you when you started gaming? I think I was thirteen. What was the first game you played? Was it all the CS? One point six. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever slapped anyone on their face? Oh yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, if you could be any superhero, what it would be, and who it would be, and why? I would have been uh, Iron Man. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? But you're dead now. But you're dead now. But oh. Iron Man is dead. Oh yes, shit, no. <laughs> Love you three thousand year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was nice. Um, so I guess that's it. So, Salun, you want to say anything to your fans? Um, I would want to say just you know go ahead and do what you like, do what you want, do what feels right to you. Don't care about people around you. Not everyone is giving you the right advice. Follow your heart. Follow the people, uh, you know, who really love you, like your parents. I would only count on my parents for now. So yes, keep supporting your favorite streamers, your favorite gamers, and you know whoever you want to support, just be the constant support. And also, please go and support all the games that you like because if you want the, those games to exist, you need to support those games. But yes, that's all. Yeah. 
I'll give her YouTube channels link and her socials link in the description below. Make sure you follow her streams, you follow her on social media, and you're doing an amazing job. You're making this country proud. You're making, you're doing amazing. Thank so you. So that's Thank it. You. This is me, Kit, signing off. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.